So, we have got a new Lego Home Alone set. <laughs> Lego have finally released their final Lego idea set of the year, and it is Home Alone. In time for the festive spirit, we get to explore Kevin running around his family home. So join me as we look at yet another great Lego idea set. Hopefully it is. Lego have decided to recreate a Lego Home Alone set and choose that as the Lego idea set. So whilst I say it was a really good option at the time, I have some major issues with this set. It's a very good set, but I have a few issues with it. So let's get into it. So the biggest issue I have with this set is obviously the minifigures. Come on, Lego. It's a Lego idea set and we're getting basic minifigures. The wet bandits are seemingly basic. Uh, I don't like Harry or Kevin. They don't really fit their characters. What well, Harry's got the hat on. That's he doesn't accurately fit the face. And Kevin is just a random Lego child. He could literally be anything. Like uh, you've got examples of him with his snowy outfit. He literally could be anyone. Just a kid with a blonde hair. It's not really that accurate. And Kevin's mum using the same piece as the Mrs. Weasley's hair type from the burrow is just another carbon copy that like I really like to do. I don't like that. I like them making unique pieces. The hair doesn't even match what her actual face is. It's completely different. It's more accurate to some of the hair pieces they were doing for ginger characters three or four years ago. So I really don't like the mum personally. I think Kevin, yeah, he, but he just doesn't it's just a normal child and Harry, yeah. Uh, but come on, Lego, come on. For a set worth £229, it just seems there's something missing for these characters. And I wouldn't like, for a Lego idea set, if I was going to buy this set for, to get some basic characters. Obviously, there are some good points with the minifigures. I really like Marv. Marv is a really good character. I personally like his hairpiece. I think that's really accurate. And I also like the iron imprint on his face on the other side. So I do think he is captured well from the first movie. But ultimately, the minifigures are really, for me, a big turn off for, to not get these sets. I just don't really want to get a set where I'm not really invested in the minifigures. I think the minifigures are some of the main bits of this Lego set. So I'm not going to get a set but I'm not going to really enjoy the minifigures of the set. So yeah, it's not very good, especially for a set that is $229.99. I do think Lego have made a very bad choice there. But getting into the main Lego house, from the outside and the exterior, it looks a great house, yes. It's the same as many Lego houses done, but it is, again, is very accurate to the movie, and I think it has been expertly recreated on the outside to match it. The zipline to the treehouse and the van are cool accessories to the set again. They're very reminiscent of the film, but it would have been cooler to get more detailed minifigures instead of the van that we get there. Like, how often is the van really used? Well, they just sit in the van and they talk. Oh wait, the minifigures are used throughout the whole thing. So for playability, to look at that, you really want better minifigures than what you're getting now, especially for Lego in 2021. So I would say that's a big thing. But yeah, the exterior, is very much a uh, positive of the set it looks very accurate obviously it looks like any normal house but lego houses usually are very very cool so let's get on to my favorite part of the set probably a set that kind of makes up for the lack of good minifigures the interior so it definitely is the best part of the set with like so many easter eggs from the movie that you would expect to come with lego this sets. you've got traps to use on the wet bandits you've got uh, loads of stuff in the actual house, the spider and all this other stuff that really relate to it and so forth and so on. It's definitely the strong part of this set and definitely makes the house feel like a Lego idea set. Obviously for a Lego idea set, playability is the main feature on most of the sets and this set does not disappoint. With a look at uh, the opening up of the house, it definitely is very easy to maneuver into it, maneuver out of it. It definitely makes it a really, really good set. So yeah, I really think that the set is done really well with playability, but that's kind of what's expected. If I'm totally honest, I think that playability has to be a major feature in the set. So 
probably some of the uh, accurate things of the house you got from the basement, from the fireplace, masking that big uh, Christmas party that come turn away the wet bands for a little bit. The sink where Kevin famously burns his face, then you got the iron and all these things, so on and so forth. So you can easily recreate your favourite moments from the film. Perhaps with a leg idea set. Obviously, there's like things they have to meet with uh, lo looking at like how many pieces to look at and do some of that. Perhaps it could be expanded on further. And again, I do want to question the £229.99 price tag. This set does show that Lego is kind of becoming more expensive when it is uh, w what it is worth. And I personally would value the set around the 180 mark, but. Again, you've got to take that with a pinch of salt. I am not in control of how much money it takes to produce all the pieces on a large scale. I'm just kind of relating it to all of the uh, toys around this around this thing. And they're obviously a lot more cheaper than Lego. So I don't know if this set is quite worth one, one, uh, 229 .99. I'll put it around 180 150 to 180 Um, like, like if Put this into context. Like The Tower of Orphank was around that price tag, I think. And um, I think Ninjago City was like um, was not that much either. Uh, I don't know what the original price tag of that was. I think it's like three hundred pounds. Uh, it might be a bit more, but I don't know. I still really think that this set is very, very overpriced. So my favorite part of the set, like I've just told you, would definitely be the interior. It does have a Christmassy Lego and nostalgia feel for the Home Alone vibe. But my big, biggest criticism would have to be the characters being personally too basic for a Lego idea set. I mean, look at the Naruto figures that someone made for Lego ideas. They were generally so unique, there are so many examples, so it kind of sucks that Lego are not following the same pattern on other Lego idea sets. This set, this set is also very similar to the Stranger Things Lego idea set. I'm kind of a bit tired of the homes coming into it a lot more. So hopefully when Sonic and other sets come out, we can leave behind a house model. Yeah, it's just getting a bit too boring for me. I think it can easily be moved on and improved on. So there's so many, like the Simpsons one, the Friends scene, the Big Bang Theory, the Stranger Things sets. I just really think they should improve on that. I do like this set. I can tell you that this set will not be high up on my list for me to purchase at this current point. You guys know I want to keep it real with you. I just think this set is a bit too a bit too weak, a bit too expensive. And I'm personally not going to buy a set where I don't agree with the minifigures. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching another Lego Ideas video. Make sure to, well I would say support the set, but it's already going to be made. So make sure to look at the set, see if you guys like it. And comment down below any of the things you do like about it, any of the things you don't like about it. I try to give you my honest opinion, and this is my honest opinion, I don't really like the set. I'm definitely not going to buy this set. I think the minifigures are a big turn off, but the interior is very, very cool as well. Make sure you join my Discord, make sure you follow me on Twitter, make sure you subscribe and like. I've got some big plans coming for some video game LEGO content that will be coming in the future. I'm not sure when, it might be tomorrow, it might be next week, it might be next month. But I am trying to improve my content, so there will be some LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga content, coming before the release of LEGO Skywalker Saga. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.